Hello and welcome to Mike Mendoza's Adrian Worthing Show. Well, today it's very much Worthing-based uh, because a year after it was originally made, a Worthing-based parody of South Korean pop star size smash hit Gangnam Style uh, has made it to YouTube. Uh, Gary Mobsby, 56 years of age of Brighton Road in Worthing, was unable to get his video to go global last year due to copyright restrictions. However, as from October the 1st, the law surrounding parodies has been relaxed, enabling him to finally promote it. And Gary joins us today. Gary, welcome to you. Thank you. How nice to see you. I, I saw the video earlier and I must say I'm very impressed with it. Thanks very much. It's a lot yeah. of fun. Where did, where did the idea come from? Uh, I came up with the idea about 18 months ago, just uh, one of those moments, uh, about four o'clock in the morning, and uh, woke up and thought, great idea. Gambling style. Yes, yeah, quite. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all it took. Yes, really. Um, but the thing is, it's very Worthing orientated. I mean, you've got what over 100 people from Worthing involved in it. Yeah, about 130 people in the video of mm -hmm. all ages, ranging from 7 to 91. But it was a great excuse to, to use a lot of people I know around Worthing, a lot of uh, good friends in the late 80s and early 90s. Mm -hmm. So how did you manage to get everybody together to do this? I mean, you, you had the idea first. Yeah. Did the song come to you straight away as well? Um, the title came straight away uh, because obviously most people know that uh, uh, Gangnam Style is the, by far the most uh, popular song ever on uh, YouTube, something that two and a half billion hits. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I thought Gangnam Style, Grand Nan Style, so it seems to be fit, fitting with Worthing very well. Mm -hmm. So I thought it'd be a good way of um, giving uh, older people a, a bit of a voice. And uh, I did tell everybody in the video that, uh, especially the older people, that, that don't tell all your children and grandchildren until it's actually out. And uh, I thought it'd be nice to re sort of reverse it, really, rather than following their fortunes of their sons, daughters and granddaughters, mm -hmm. or their lives. It'd be nice to say, just take a look at this. How long did it take you to make? Two and a half months in, in total. Yes. Uh -huh. And you edited that as well and put it together? Yes, it wasn't originally the idea, but I ended up having to wear, wear quite a lot of hats. I was mm -hmm. hoping somebody else would do the editing side of things. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you've had no experience in this before, have you? No, no. I mean, the editing of it is, is, is absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Uh, it must take you ages to actually put it all together and sync it all together. Yeah, the editing was about four weeks, yes, which <laughs> seems to be a ridiculous four and a half minute <laughs> slot. But. Now, you, you mentioned about all the old people involved in it. Not everyone's old in it, are they? Some of them made up to look old, I assume. Oh, yes. yes there was some sure on a trampoline. Right. I couldn't yes. imagine those <laughs> we actually We had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. I can imagine. I, I contacted people for one of the scenes, the trampoline club, and those two girls were... Sixteen-year-olds. No, I said uh, looking like sixty-six or yes, ninety-six. Right. Yes, Get, yeah. just uh, old ladies going shopping. Yes. <laughs> They've actually done this for charity. Yes, yes. I, w I wanted to uh, do it uh, for the Alzheimer's Society uh, for a number of reasons, really. Obviously, uh, my Worthing's my hometown, mm -hmm. and obviously, it happens to have uh, quite a lot of elderly people in any way. Um, and my father died of s at sixty-three of uh, Alzheimer's, having contracted at fifty-seven. Mm -hmm. So, and it fitted in very nicely with the the, the theme. It actually it does show uh, Alzheimer's can affect everybody of any age. Oh, yes, yes. Because totally you really, is. really associate it with, with real old people, don't you? Yes. Normally. Yes, yes it's pretty terrible. Uh, my, my dad, when he was in the home, we used to visit him, and he was the youngest in the home by 20 years. Really? Um, spent most of his time trying to escape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, really? Did he realise where he was? No, no. He just constantly asked why he couldn't come home. Mm -hmm. Did he know where home was? No. He didn't? No. 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 Sad, no, very, yeah. very sad. Um, so just back to the song for a minute. You've, you've made sure that Worthing is very much involved in, in this song and you've used so many different areas around Worthing. Again, did you choose everywhere it had to go? Yes, when I, when I was writing all the scenes, I wanted to use all the iconic landmarks, people laugh when I say it's iconic landmarks mm. of Worthing, but there are some. Um, and so I used all those as the backdrops so that everything was shot outside. It, it did mean that so we had a tremendous amount of takes. I think in total is. 483 takes in, in the video because uh, obviously all, all the places were open to the public so as hard as I tried I tried to do a lot of the filming early in the morning 
got one outside the Coast Cafe on the seafront. Um, I had a couple of marshals trying to stop them coming oh, through. No, really? With the best, best will in the world. Obviously, it, it's very hard to stop it, It's available now on YouTube. Yes. You've had thousands of hits on it so far. Yes. Uh, money is going to, to Alzheimer's. Yeah. Uh, we wish you the best luck with that. Thanks Thank very much. Thank you so much. We're going to watch it now. Okay, thanks. Okay. Together, if you're coming down to Worthing, cause buttered scones and tea and cake are not all we are serving. We come down here to live our lives, we're not down here for dying. If we say lifestyle and we pass our best, you know we just be lying. It's summer here, it's always summer by the seaside, always summer here. If you're sitting in the lee side, oh, that summer air is what keeps us young and glowing. Yes, that summer air, yeah, life's only just got going. If you're seeing it doesn't mean ya gotta slow, hey. you gotta go hey. Cause when you're older, a bus pass holder Your life is yours, hey. no work or chores hey. The world is full of the thrills of life and open doors, 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 doors Old and Grandland style Grandland style, oh, oh
old and grandman style. See a girl like me, so auspicious, making you just a little pretentious. All the money in the world, it don't mean nothing if you ain't a little adventurous. Never going out in conspicuous, making everybody stop and look at us. Ain't making my team if you ain't the business, getting cash back on my Lexus. Uh, 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 uh. You know you never enough. You know you never enough. I see you. Well, in Mike's Cafe now, I slipped the young Sarah Collins. Welcome to you. Thank you. Mum extraordinaire. Absolutely. You are a bit extraordinary, really. You've got three children, uh, all involved in pageants. Yes. Uh, some people knock pageants, some people think they're wonderful. Yeah. How did you get involved in all that? Pageants, to me, were an absolute horror nightmare. I'd seen the programmes that everyone else has seen on TV, and I had formed the same impression about them. My amazing daughter, Ella, um, had been horribly bullied at school and she kept on and on that she wanted to do, do some modelling, do some pageants and I really, having been a child performer myself, I knew how difficult the industry was. So I kept trying to put her off but it's what she wanted to do. And she said to me one day, Mummy, if I go on stage and I'm performing, it's not Ella at school that's being judged, it's my alter ego Ella. So I decided to give her the chance, she took part in a pageant and she illuminated the room. It was extraordinary. My middle son had tears in his eyes and when I asked him what was wrong, he said, Ella's back, mummy. And that was it, I was sold. Oh really? Um, so it brings him out, gives him the confidence. Absolutely, yeah. she, she just glowed. Um, you wouldn't think it was the same child. This was a child who wouldn't leave the house, she had stress induced tonsillitis, she wasn't eating, she wasn't sleeping, and suddenly this child was on stage full, brimming with confidence and grace and elegance. Now, if my theory is if a pageant can help a child regain their self-esteem and their confidence, yes, they're being judged, but you're also being judged at a dance competition, um, at singing auditions, you're being judged at school, you're being judged throughout life, that everyone is judged all the time. Mm -hmm. These children are judged on their confidence, their self-esteem, their stage presence. It's not about this external beauty, it's about the entire person. You see, a lot of people will knock it, and you've heard all the knocks anyway. Absolutely. They'll say it's the mother trying to... Yep bring the child into being what they couldn't be. Absolutely. But you've done it. I've done it all. So you've seen it all. Uh, the other thing, of course, is making a child miss their childhood almost by making them adults. Certainly. What you find when... My, what I will say to people, the first thing I always say who knock pageants, have you ever been to one? We've all seen them on TV, the horror shows and everything. You never see the good ones, do you? You never see mm. the good ones because yeah. good stories don't sell. Mm -hmm. And that's a fact yeah. in, in media. Until you've actually attended one and you've seen what happens behind the scenes, you a lot see of camaraderie. Oh, the friendships, mm. the friendships, the support. All the parents support each other's children. They cheer, they clap, they help other kids get ready. They're doing hair and makeup and putting on dresses. I'm actually a pageant compare, so I'm never around to get Ella and my boys ready. Mm -hmm. All the other parents do it for me. Now, you don't get that from dance mums very rarely from dance mums, you don't get that from soccer mums, you don't get that from any other kind of competition. So it, the support that you get through pageants is amazing and the amount of charity work that the girls and boys do is phenomenal. They, uh, last year alone for one of the charities that we supported they raised over £8,000 for Follow Your Dreams. Mm -hmm. Now that's an amazing amount of money raised by children from the age of one year old to 18. You, it's not heard of. 14-year-old girls don't do this sort of thing. They don't raise money for charity. They're out with their friends. My children focus on getting ready for a pageant, enjoying the pageant, looking forward to seeing their friends, 
when you think they're probably only on stage for about five minutes in total for the mm -hmm. whole day and the rest of it is a social meeting yeah, and sure. it's wonderful I love it you see, so you've got three children you've got two boys and one girl that's right and the boys also involved in they this. do they love it and they, they've won crowns haven't they they're winners Jude and but Jake like, sure, you've got very good looking boys they are very rather gorgeous yeah, aren't they yeah. and so yeah. is Ella yeah. of course and they're not the mother well the, they obviously <laughs> take after the mother of course they do um, the boys are actually uh, internationally well known now in the pageant community um, they got involved because of their sister that was the only reason they did it and they asked I never put the idea in their head they asked really, me mm -hmm. and that's a really important point to, to make because I have been criticized in the media and everything about forcing my boys to do this it's totally unnatural well so how old are the boys? The boys, Jude is 10 mm -hmm. and Jake is 6 uh -huh. and they've been doing pageants for over a year now. They asked me and that's really important to get across that it was their request to do it. And the reason they wanted to do it, firstly they loved the idea of being able to dress up as a pirate or a superhero or whatever theme it was that they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. They loved the idea of being on stage and getting all that cheering and clapping and everything else. But most importantly, they wanted the big crowns and the box of sweets and the prizes and the sashes that goes with it. What child wouldn't want a big box of sweets? Do they keep the crowns for them? They do. do they? What do they yeah. do with them when they get them home? Our house is full of crowns. Of crowns. Yeah. <laughs> full. Um, I think we added up Ella's and there are about 40 crowns that she has. Mm -hmm. The boys have... I've lost count because obviously the two of them, they're all mixed together. Some of the crowns are actually bigger than Jake. They're that tall. I saw one. It, was, it is almost as big as he is. Yeah. Enormous. Mm. Um, and they're beautiful. And they love them. And Jake particularly is very proud of his crowns. Um, he said, when we were a bit strapped for cash once, he said, Mummy, you can sell one of my crowns because it's worth <laughs> a million pounds. Are they? No, they're not. They're not really gold. No, <laughs> no, no. no. You mean, you mean, you've been conned, they're not really gold. We've got them checked, don't worry. No, they're uh, not real diamonds or anything. That's no. fair enough, OK. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a difference between a pageant and a beauty contest. Absolutely. A beauty contest is exactly that. Mm -hmm. They, The judges are looking for the external beauty, the elegance, the grace. And beauty pageants really are for older women. So that's the Miss United Kingdoms, the Miss Englands, the mm -hmm. Miss Worlds. Excellent. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. And good luck to, to all you're doing at the moment. That's yes. goes well for you. And thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for the time. I and, appreciate uh, it. And we'll be talking to Ella next time. Wonderful. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you soon. All the best. Yes. Hi, I'm Alex Thomas, and this is my song called I Am.
tongue And all it takes is your name to be mentioned And once again I am nine years old And once again I am that child And all it takes is a slip of the tongue And all it takes is his name to be mentioned And once again I am nine years old once again, I am that child. You can find me on Facebook at forward slash Alex Thomas Music. And next year I'm releasing a mini album. Keep an eye out for that.